Good evening. Leaving the European Union could cost the Scottish economy billions of pounds. That's according to analysis published by the Scottish Government. But the Conservatives say the figures are a smokescreen and Ms Sturgeon should rule out another independence vote to ensure stability. Here's our political correspondent, Nick Erdley. What will leaving the EU mean for Scotland's economy, for businesses and shoppers like these ones? Today, the Scottish Government published analysis of how bad it thinks it could be. What today's publication illustrates is that whatever the final form of Brexit, whatever Brexit means Brexit turns out to actually mean in practice, the old argument that the UK somehow delivers financial security for Scotland no longer holds water. The figures published today suggest the value of goods and services produced in Scotland, known as GDP, could fall. But there's quite a range in how much buy. By 2030, the hit could be £1.7 billion per year if we keep good trade links with the EU. But it could be as much as £11 billion in the worst case scenario. The amount of tax coming in is also projected to fall by between £1.7 and £3.7 billion. We've put out a, a, a range of different assessments and taken the, the Scottish uh, impact of those assessments. I, I hope that they're all overblown, but we have to be realistic uh, about the situation we find ourselves in. The First Minister is clear she thinks Brexit will be bad for Scotland. But she's also preempting figures tomorrow on the state of our economy. It's expected her opponents will use them to say Scotland is better off in the UK, even outside the EU. They're going to show the significant challenges that are in the Scottish economy and they'll also show the dividend that we have in Scotland from being part of the United Kingdom. If she's talking today about security and stability, then she can do one thing that will give us that security and stability in Scotland and that's take a second referendum off the table, get back to the job in hand. Thank you all very much. The First Minister says she'll now appoint a Brexit minister and repeated her belief another independence vote is highly likely. Nick Erdley reporting Scotland in Edinburgh.